Okay, guys, I am back. Um, sorry for, well, by the time you see this, it'll have only been one day, but it's really been several days since I um, started these. Um, I just wanted to show you that I did sew that one and this one, and then to show you kind of how these turned out, and um, they turned out really cute. Um, so yeah, I really like how they turned out. And then I guess I'm kind of down to the cover and I've been trying to figure out, and I don't know, did you guys see these? I don't remember now. So these are the little corner pockets that I saved back. I think, I think I showed these, but yep. So I am getting ready to do the cover and I think it's going to be very similar to the other thing. And I decided to use this instead. Um, instead of the pink, um, and I just made it a regular cover instead. And then we're going to put, we're going to save these. It was a file folder and I'll just, I'm going to sew around everything, but I want to get this set, um, and get the cover pretty well, like done beforehand. Um, and I have just been trying to decide, I think, cause, I, um, what I have in mind it's going to take a little bit so of doing and kind of just gauging and I think ultimately I'm going to have to glue down I'm going to have to glue it down because we're going to take these little gals that I've ad already added and inked no I have not inked all of them um I've already added their wings and kind of already got an idea of where I want them to go and then, um, <clears throat> let's see, I think this is the only other one that wasn't inked. Um, yeah, so then we'll just like get them glued in and down. And I'm thinking that the best way to go about doing that is going to be, like I said, um, gluing the big piece down first, but I'm going to offset this portion of it so that, um, we, um, when I wrap like lace or something around this to sturdy up the spine, um, it doesn't, um, interfere with this. So it'll all still be centered per se. Um, but yeah, it'll just be off a little bit. So yeah, I think I'm going to glue this down. So I hope everybody is doing well. Um, we are fine here. Um, this is Tuesday after Father's Day. So, um, yep, Paul had a very good Father's Day. And um, we did a lot over the weekend, which is kind of unusual for all of us. Um, normally, we just kind of take it easy and don't do a whole lot. But yeah, this time, yeah, we, we really did do a lot. We went to um, uh, a place called Top Golf. Oh, hold on, hold the phone. So, and it was fun. So basically it's like this, um, uh, kind of like a really fun little, um, golfing driving range and um you can play like different but it's like five stories high it's really kind of cool um or maybe it's four stories I can't remember but anyways it was a whole lot of fun okay so then this little gal is gonna go in here um yeah it's a lot of fun um I don't I'm not a good golfer and I even had fun. So it's, um, you can play games like within your group and things like that. That was fun. Um, Gracie happens to enjoy golfing with Paul. Um, so yeah, she had a lot of fun and she almost beat him the first game, which she was super excited about. <laughs> um, I mean, it didn't take long for him to catch up and catch on and like totally not let her win <laughs> but um and then I'm gonna stick her right here but I do want her wings hanging out of the window 
Um, <clears throat> yeah, um, he didn't want, let her win, much to her dismay. <laughs> no, I'm teasing. We don't usually do that with the kids. If they win, it's a it's a true win. They won it fair and square. Um. So yeah. Um. Oh no, this one. This one goes here. Yeah. So, um, Bo and his friend went, and then Gracie and me and Paul went down. So yeah, like I said, it was a lot of fun. We, we did do a lot of laughing. I think it's definitely something we'll go do again. <clears throat> it happened to be like in Denver, which is, it wasn't great. I mean, the travel, I mean, it still took us an hour and a half to get there, but, and then on Sunday, on actual Father's Day, because we did that Monday, so on actually Father's Day, we went to the lake, a local lake, and, um, oh no, I did want to do it the other way. Oh well, it looks all right. I like it. Um, they're turned in different positions, so I, I'm okay with that. Okay, now I'm going to make sure all my little pieces are really glued down. Okay, now, now we have to decide what else we're going to do because I do think that I'm going to Mod Podge that in there to give it a little bit of sheen. And I haven't decided, I'm not going to do the antique Mod Podge, but um, I think I'm going to do regular. But I was thinking that some of these flowers out of one of the kits on this background page, maybe I would line a couple like right in through here maybe I don't know they might even be too big but we're gonna see we'll see what we have I think I already asked how you guys were all doing but if I didn't how are you So yeah, um, what else happened? Um, of course, even with sunscreen, we all got burned on Sunday being at the lake. So um, yeah, that's been kind of painful to contend with. Um, I can't really think of anything else that's been happening. Um, I guess I should do this on camera, right? Gracie's out with some friends now. Her fish died. Not Gracie's, but her friend's fish died, so they need to go get another one. But did you know in the state of Colorado, you have to be 18 to buy a fish? I don't know. Maybe that's a more, more responsible thing. It just seems weird that like, they can't just go in and buy a fish. I don't know. I don't know why that would be. I mean, what if... What if they have anim animals that, like, their diet is fish? I don't know. It seems weird to me. Maybe it's like that everywhere. And since, well, Bo has fish, like a fish tank in his room, and he always maintains it, but he's, he's over 18, so, I mean, like I said, it's never really dawned on me that, you know, that maybe Grace just couldn't walk in and buy a fish if she wanted. Oh, it just seems weird. Well, in the other times when she's had like betas and stuff, or like goldfish, it's either been Paul or I to go in with her because she obviously couldn't drive. So I think that might be why I didn't really know. Oh, 
So, the world just seems to be getting crazier and crazier, doesn't it? I don't know. Um, what's going to happen. I definitely have my doubts as to some of it. Yep, those are way too big. Way too big. All right, so um, I think I don't know what I'm thinking because um, I don't know that I have really any smaller ones because even like Tina's I think are still going to be way too big for what we're working with. I guess I could probably go print them even smaller or if we did something like this. That might be okay. Let's just see what all we have in here. Do we have any like other colors that might we might like? It's kind of pretty. A little bit longer. I mean I like the filigree behind it too. I don't really like, I don't like how the colors don't really match for me. Because this is bold. All right, so we're going to leave it for now. Maybe I'll end up just putting like some little like silk flowers on it or something. I don't know. Let's just get it glued down and move on. Um, oh, yeah, I did glue it down. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, so I do think that I'll probably have to pause the video because I'm going to go ahead and glue this and then... Um, actually, maybe I don't need to. Maybe we'll just do something else while we're waiting for it to dry. Or I'm um, not waiting for it to dry, but waiting for, um, or we'll make me or I tell you, I must be tired or something. What I'm trying to spit out is maybe work on something different while this is drying. Uh, maybe I'll go ahead and mod podge it, and then I'll get it sewed off camera, obviously, but um. Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking is that I would Mod Podge it and, and I'm not going to Mod Podge all of it. I'm just going to Mod Podge, um, the paper, I think, just to give it a little bit of shine, maybe. Boy, I don't know. Let's just do it. What's the worst that's going to happen? We hate it, right? And I got to go grab a paintbrush, so, or a uh, sponge, so talk amongst yourselves for a second. I have to keep reminding myself lately that it's only paper. You can always reprint it. It's not that big of a deal. There's the motorcycles for the evening because it's a glorious sunny day, right? So they got to be out large in a charge.
Yeah, so. I can't think of anything to talk about, which is kind of unusual for me, huh? I can't wait till 4th of July. We've got, I think we might take the camper over to some friends' houses to kind of try it out before the big journey to Idaho. It would look really cool. It's like crackle medium, I bet, on this. Bet you that would look really cool. All right. I have to glue down some of these, but like around the edges a little bit after the Mod Podge is dry. And by that, I mean just like anything that like around the very edges. All right. Now, what can we do? Um, I do need more journaling cards, I think, for these, because I don't think the kit has quite enough. So let me put you on pause for a second and see where my journaling cards are, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I think we'll just make some journal cards to kind of finish up this part of the video. And then when we come back, I'm not sure if I'll do another full video or if I'll just finish it up and give you a flip through. So I'm just going to take some of these mushrooms and just kind of add some of the wings and just decorate them up. And yeah. So yeah, if you would like to join me and do some crafting along, that would be cool. I think we'll just use this one. It's right here in the front. And these ones I'm not gonna back, we'll just ink them. Um, and I may do a little bit of stenciling on the back. Um, I do have this one ink that I think might be fun, but I'm not sure how my inker will do with it, so. Or like those little brushes. And then we'll use some of our numbers. Um, probably should have had all these inked up, but no, nope, that's not gonna work, is it? Nope, okay, we'll just glue this down all the way then. And we already have a number eight out. Not right color though. Right. Um. <clears throat> oh, all those really big ones are all cream colored. So maybe we'll use this one. Is that one kind of the right color? Not really. Let's see what else we got here. So we have a number two that's kind of a pink color, or maybe we'll put on. Probably should just get all these cut out, but I think that'll be our road trip. When we go, I am going to take a bunch of fussy cutting stuff, but like easy fuss, because easy on the road cutting like this stuff where it's. Um, not uh, so difficult to cut on the road, if that makes any sense. Probably not. Hoping to get a Future Friday shop done this week, hopefully. 
um, for those of you that are new, um, I like to do featured shops, like, and they're just like, just artists or whatever that I found or that have been recommended to me. Um, let's see what else we got. Um, but yeah, so I just kind of pick out something and give them... No, I don't really like that. Oh, geez, should we just tear it all out? You know what we'll do? I know what we're going to do. I know what we're going to do. I'm going to take, um, also in this project, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm trying really hard to use up some scraps. So we are just going to do this. And then we're going to pick out something to go on the top that I can sew on. This. Kind of make it into a journaling card with a tab like that. We'll sew it on and then I'm going to make a couple of these. And then we'll use some of the adornments that I made. Again, I don't know if I, the other side won't matter, but this one will. I don't know if we made them together, but I'll show you them in a second. Um, when I had my glossy accents out, I just did a bunch of these pieces in uh, uh, glossy accents. Um, but not before I like put a eyelet in it. So so yeah, I think that'll look cute. It'd be like little charms. So those are like right here. I just I did a bunch of them, but this is just a few, and that's how they look once you put them on the the thing. But we will get to that in a minute. Let's just kind of keep putting stuff together. And I may not use all of this in this journal. Um, because I do, I am running really short on like, th um, thank you ephemera. Normally I try to send a little bit of ephemera um, with uh, each item that is bought out of my shop. And I'm running dangerously low on it. I'm just going to cut that out really quick. Um, just the white out a little bit and then we'll ink it. I just like how it comes through the, the background like that. And I can't, I, I know that a lot of people probably can get their, uh, scissors in there, but I don't happen to be one of those. So. I'm just going to check to see if it looked better on these backgrounds, which I think I do like it on that one. Or do I like it better on that one? I like that it pulls the red and it's almost, almost disappears. That's, and I like it on that one. Okay, so this one it is. Okay. Get 
almost turn it into how many of these can I make in an hour, right? So yeah, back to the Featured Friday shop. Um, so that basically is just, I try to feature shops occasionally and then um, you'll make a project with one of their kits. That blends in too much. I think the pink is going to as well. Yeah. So sorry guys, you are in it again for numbers and cutting. So yeah, um, I'll hopefully get one of those done this week. It's been a while since I've been able to feature a shop. Just craziness in life. And then I do have another collaboration that we're doing. So yeah, always busy. Always, always, right? Oh, I forgot that we were putting lace underneath these. Yeah, like I said, I've got a ton of this stuff to use up. So, no telling like the present, right? Gracie is out with friends. I think I already said that though. Bo is at work. Paul is at work. So, other than the cats and the dogs, which most of the time they're they're enough company, right? <laughs> I'm sure you guys get really sick of hearing about the cats and dogs, but yeah. Oh, and I will say this. Okay, so um, a couple weeks ago, I showed you guys the little baby bunnies and I am getting ready to film another video with the little babies. Um, but our little, we called him Henry the second because um, those of you that watched before know that um, Grace had a bunny last summer that we that wasn't quite right. And um, we named him Henry. So, um, yeah, I've named him Henry the second. And he is handicapped. His back end does not work. But he's happy and he's healthy and he's a charmer. And when you see him, you guys are going to fall in love with him too. Um, he needs to stay with mama for a little while longer. But I think I'm going to build him a special cage. And he just, because um, he won't be able to be on the wire like other rabbits um he will never have the support on his back end so we're just as soon as he's old enough to come away from mama then i'll put i'll make a special cage for for him um he is quickly becoming one of my favorite bunnies of all time so we'll see um he may end up not making it i mean that's that's the cold hard reality of having livestock a lot of times is we try not to get attached to animals, but I mean, it happens. Um, and I don't know if I've said before, but most of Gracie's rabbits are, um, her meat project, um, for fair, um, that in her FFA, that's how she's learning how to farm. And, um, she's taking special interest in feed. Um, and starting to test feed so that um, she can hopefully make better feed for animals. Um, I think that might be where her interests really lie when it comes to um, 4-H and FFA. Um, because it, in truth, the feed that um, is being produced for rabbits um, leaves a lot to be desired. Like rabbits aren't supposed to have corn and there, we haven't bought a bag in like two years that hasn't had any corn in it. And it's because they use it as a filler. Well, it's just really not good for rabbits to have corn. Um, kind of the rule of thumb is if you can feed it to a horse, you can feed it to a rabbit. Um, if it's poisonous to a horse, it's poisonous to a rabbit. Their digestive tracts are very, very similar. Um, and a lot of people have a misconception that um, rabbits are kind of like of a rodent family, but they're not. They're actually more of like a horse um, lineage lineage type thing. Um, so that's an interesting fact. I don't have a couple of you that enjoy hearing about rabbit and rabbit facts and stuff, but yeah, they don't, 
they're not rodents. Um, they are more, like I said, horse. And that's why they eat so many of the same things that horses do. Um, but same with like horses, like alfalfa can bloat them. Um, or so I've heard. I mean, I, I am not a horse expert by any means. Um, I know that you can ride them. And <laughs> um, for a lot of people, they create, you know, great, um, great sources of entertainment and whatnot. But um but so some of our horse people, they don't feed a ton of alfalfa because it can bloat them. That's the, that's the exact same as a, um, as a rabbit as well. Um, you can, you just can't feed them alfalfa all the time. Um, Timothy or orchard hay is best for them. Um, and Gracie is cultivating the fodder systems, but, um, yeah, she's getting there. Um, her lettuce and her tomatoes, because you typically can't feed lettuce. You shouldn't, I should say. Not that you can't. You shouldn't feed lettuce to rabbits. Um, at least not anything that has a high water content, like um, iceberg lettuce, celery, those kind of things, because it can give them diarrhea. And then once rabbits have diarrhea, then they have a hard time getting their electrolytes back. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it's a rule of thumb. It's not a... Not a you can't, you know? So yeah, she's... And spinach, though. Spinach is really good for them. And they are absolutely loving all the spinach that Gracie has been giving them. So, um, yeah. It's been really good for them. I think I'm just about out of lacy-type scraps for toppers. Um, but that doesn't mean I want to give up on it either. So let's see what I've got on this side. Oh, look at that. Oh, excuse me. So yeah, I'm going to check the time on this one and I didn't check the cover time. So I'm betting that we're probably close to an hour. So I will probably put you on pause. And then I'll go sew these. And I've got to ink this one, which I probably forgot to ink the last one too. You're used to hanging with me, aren't you? Right? Yeah. Nope, I didn't. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to pause you. I'm going to go sew those and then we'll just finish out the decoration in here in just a minute. Okay, guys, let's find some of these charms and see what we want to put on there. Add up out of the way. Is that one? I thought there was a couple more. There they are. There's a few more round ones in there. And I think that's the ones we're going to primarily use on these cards. Um, just to give a little more dimension. Yep, and then I'm just going to pop them on here. There we go. Very cute. I like those. I do like how they turned out. Okay. And I do think that I'll go ahead and just finish the cover. And then um, I'll probably just sew in the, the, um, the signature. And I'll probably go ahead and just put in, like, I'll just kind of finish it. And then we'll just do a flip through because we're so close. Um, you're really not going to miss much um, other than the sewing, you probably won't miss anything that you won't have already seen, except for maybe, um, um, I'm just putting some more laces, like, on the end of the pages and stuff. I'm going to kind of frew it up a little. Um, I have some other pieces that I want to use. Oh, that one didn't end up getting any clear coat on it. Well, that's just strange. Um... 
where was I going? Oh yeah. So I think I'm going to put some bright laces in there. Um, yeah. So that is what we accomplished today along with our cover right here. And it's mostly dry. Um, I just have a couple of things I want to glue down a little bit and then I might sand it out a little bit, or I might put even a dark, uh, like a heavier clear coat on it. I don't know. That will be in the flip through. All right, guys, thank you for traveling on this journey with me. Um, next time I see you, it will be for the flip through. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.